Well, I hope you're just having a wonderful day. I'm just coming to you from my backyard right now. It's just been so beautiful out lately. I just kind of wanted to sit down and do a little catch up with me. Technically, this is like a last day of school vlog. Yesterday was my last day, like officially of junior year. As you probably know, if you've been watching these videos for a little while, is that I actually do online school. So I do like online college courses. Those finished up like at the beginning of May. My last official day of junior year was yesterday because I'm still enrolled through my like like Towns High School. I had one class through them that ended yesterday, but I basically just wanted to do this vlog because I think it's really cool to just look back and see how far this school year has taken me. I think that just in general, not just like growth wise, but I think in every area of my life, I've had some significant change since the beginning of the school year. So I guess it just is, it's just really cool to see how one year can shift so much and not even a full year, like just the eight or nine months or whatever that we're in school. So I hope you guys really enjoy this vlog and um, I'll do a little catch up at the end, a little life update, so to say, or just, you know, sharing some thoughts and feelings that I have following the end of this school year at the end. But I guess we'll just go right ahead and just kind of jump into yesterday morning and what was all going on then. Okay, good morning guys. There's construction going on at my school. So um, if you can't hear me over noises in the background, I apologize for that. But it's now about 9.30. I'm about to head in for my last like test presentation of the year. Um, I've been taking a class online from my high school because all of my other classes were all online college courses. So they've been done since like the beginning of May, but today is my last like real school thing that has to do with my actual high school. I've been taking a class called post high school planning, which is basically it's required for all juniors and it's basically where you just plan what you're going to do post high school and research colleges and do a bunch of tests to find out what career fits you best all that kind of stuff so basically we have to put together this big like life plan thing and you basically just like plan out your life and then you have to present it to a teacher so i'm about to head into our media center and present to one of the teachers my life plan thing and then i'm officially done for the year um, i'm also going to stop by one of the teachers to pick up some nhs papers um because i got into nhs for this next year so that's my plan for being actually at the school today that's all the actual school stuff i have going on for the last day of school this year so yep we're just gonna go present go pick up those papers and then we're on with the rest of our day walking out of this building today i'm officially a senior so so that's absolutely crazy. Yeah, let's go finish up junior year. Woohoo! <laughs> Well guys, it's official. I'm a member of my school's National Honor Society for next year, which will be so much fun. Other than that, my presentation was a success. Well, why can I not say that word today? My presentation was a success. There we go, I got it out. Sat and talked to the teacher that I presented to for a little bit, which was very nice. Just kind of ran around the school, said bye to some teachers, and then, yeah, I'm officially a senior now, so thumbs up to that. That's really it for the last day of school. Um, now let's just let's just have a good rest of the day together. We'll, we'll, we'll just see, let's just see where this day takes us. <laughs> Okay, so it's about noon right now and the UV index is getting up there and the temperature is also heating up today. And so I wanted to go on a run outside, but I need to do that before it gets too hot. So then we're going to go ahead and do that now, eat some lunch, and then we'll probably just spend some time laying outside. I think that's what the plan for the rest of this afternoon is going to be until I have to head into town later this evening. So yeah, just going to go for a run, get some lunch, and then just lay out in the sun for a while. I think, I think that's going to be the plan. Okay, so for the run fit today, I've just got a nice purple set on from Girlfriend Collective. This has been like one of my favorite sets. I actually wore it for the Miss Minnesota Teen Fitness portion of the competition. If you haven't seen that video, you really should check that out. Just another plug for that. I will probably be plugging that in all of my videos from here on out. But anyways, um, yeah, I've just got this purple set on. It's really nice and one of the only like sports bras that I can wear alone without like another sports bra with it. So if that's something that you struggle to find, this set from Girlfriend Collective is amazing. Um, and then I'm also just wearing a Nike Golf Navy hat and then we'll throw some aviators on and we'll call it a day. We're mid room clean, so ignore the mess. But yeah, this is the this is the purple set that I was talking about that I absolutely love. It's like one of my favorites. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, now that I'm outside, I'm realizing this is the hottest it's been since I ran in a very long time because it's obviously the end of May and it's been winter in Minnesota and spring in Minnesota, which is like 40 degrees on a good day. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a sweat bath, absolute sweat bath, but let's go do it anyways. This will be, this will be fun. This will be fun. <laughs> so good. <laughs> It's now much later in the afternoon. It is 3.23 right now, so almost 3.30. I have my tap evaluation that I'm doing. I'm gonna be taking some tap classes this summer, at least that's the plan. So I have that at four o'clock. And obviously I have some base stage makeup on right now because then right after that, I'm gonna to head to the theater. I have a show for the Little Mermaid musical that I'm in this weekend. I have one of those tonight. Um, and then I'm also gonna stop by because my studio is having their dance showcase, spring showcase that I actually choreographed a piece for. They have that tonight. So I choreographed a piece for that because I couldn't be in it because I'm in this musical. So we're going to go hit all of the dots here and um, yeah, just kind of have a fun evening. If you haven't seen my musical theater vlog, I think that'll be up before this. So make sure you go ahead and check that out if it's up already so you can get all of the inside scoop on what my musical theater show that I've been in recently is like. So yeah, I've got some base makeup on for that. Got all my stuff packed. I've got my cinch sack on and yeah, we're going to go eat some dinner. My sister cooked me up some dinner quick like a 3.30 dinner, but I'm not gonna be able to eat for the rest of the evening. So I'm gonna go do that and then head into town. Alrighty, let's go do this. Okay, I just arrived at my TAP evaluation and I gotta say, this is the first time in a long time I've actually been nervous for something. TAP is something I've not done since I was literally like six or seven years old. And I'm about to be like put to the test at it and get placed and like fully going into this with low expectations. Like I fully expect to be put in some classes with like other six and seven year olds because that's the last time that I ever was part of a class but we'll see hopefully we get some decent news maybe I can be with like the 11 12 year olds we're about to find out so yeah this is gonna be humbling um but you know what it's gonna be so much fun and I'm really looking forward to tapping this summer so I'm really hoping that this goes well <laughs> Okay, well, I just finished and it went really well. Um, it's just gonna be in tap four or five for the summer. So I'll be like with 13 year olds. So that's honestly better than I expected. That's basically it. Now we're gonna go head to the theater and go see my dance people before their show tonight. I have a piece, like I mentioned earlier. So we're gonna go do all that stuff and then we'll head to the Civic Theater, which is the separate theater that I have my musical at. So lots of confusing stuff, but we're gonna make this all work out good. Okay, so you see how it says now playing the Little Mermaid? That's the show that I'm in, and that is where my dance school is having their showcase tonight. So if that helps to make more sense of what's going on, yeah, that's what's going on. <laughs> So I just finished up watching uh, my dance rehearsals and so now I'm headed back to the car and we're gonna go ahead into the actor's door and start getting ready for our show tonight. I'm so excited. It's been an oddly productive day. We're really just, we're really just doing everything. Alrighty, stuff is secured. That's a wrap on our show, folks. Well, not like overall, but like just for tonight. Um, I'm getting out of here ASAP because I want to go home and talk to my mom about how the show went. Okay, we're into scary car lighting because I think I hit stop somewhere in that video. But anyways, um, yeah, basically, like I said, I sent my mom to go see that other dance show. So I'm gonna go home and gossip with her about how that went. When I was texting with her, it sounds like it went really well. So I'm really excited to go see what she has to say. I'm just tired and it's about 10 o'clock right now. Our show um, actually finished up pretty good. Okay, I'm running back in because I just got a call that all my dance friends who are over at the show came to say hi to me. So this is really funny. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go say hi to them. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. My heart is so happy right now. <laughs> my first ever piece premiered today that I choreographed and I wasn't Oh, I wasn't there to see it, but I wasn't there to see it because I was doing another love of mine. 
I mean, this life is just crazy. <laughs> and the people that are in it right now for me are just so special and I'm so thankful for all of them. So to all of you, you know who you are. Oh, I just, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I was literally sitting in my car and I get a call from Gracie, who's one of my Mercer sisters, and like, are you still here? Some of your dance friends are here. And I was like, what? I'm just so happy right now. Oh, I need to go home and get a good night's rest because we got to do a whole nother show tomorrow. Moving on to like reflecting on yesterday itself, um, I just want to say that it was such a cool day. I mean, best last day of school ever in my entire life. I just relaxed and enjoyed myself and just kind of soaked in like, yep, you're done. Like you can relax now, at least for a little while. Then I got ready to head into my TAP evaluation, which I feel like I should speak to this a little bit more just because that was probably really confusing. I currently do ballet, like ballet is what I do, but I also love like contemporary and jazz and I want to get back into TAP. I haven't tapped since I was probably six or seven years old. And I walked into this TAP evaluation with that in mind, like, okay, I'm probably gonna be placed in a class with other like very young people. I'm definitely gonna be the oldest just in terms of the fact that I've not done TAP since I was six or seven years old and I'm completely okay with that. I did get placed in a class with 11 and 13 year olds so it'll be just fine. Basically the reason that I'm deciding to get back into tap is because obviously I've done ballet my whole life and I've done tap and jazz and other styles here and there but I really 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 want to get back into having a more diverse dance set especially moving into looking into college decisions as I am moving into my senior year of high school and especially with my newfound love of musical theater that I've been able to really cultivate this this spring working with the musical that I've been working in basically I've just I've just been really enjoying musical theater and kind of the whole idea of like Broadway style performing um, and so that really has made me wonder like wow I really should like get back into doing more tap stuff doing more of this jazz stuff so I can really kind of build that skill set so I can be successful in like the dance aspect of like a Broadway type setting and musical theater and all that kind of stuff so that's really been an interest of mine lately that I've been really excited to discover so this summer I'm just planning to take some tap classes get myself back into it um, just kind of reestablish that base so I can kind of take that maybe take that somewhere as I'm looking into college and stuff like that. Then after all of that, I headed to the theater. Now I've been like living at the theater lately from my musical to now the spring showcase that my ballet studio that I, you know, religiously go to ballet classes for. They were having their spring showcase at the, like there's two theaters in this whole convention center. Um, and so my musical's in one theater and then my dance showcase was in the other. And I basically decided um, way back when that I was going to do this musical um, instead of the showcase because I knew that this musical would be something that I could really test some of my skill sets and really grow a little bit more from instead of doing a dance like recital type thing, um, which was a really, really hard decision. That was a decision that was not made lightly. But in the end, I just decided it would be best for me moving into this senior year to, to kind of explore some of those interests of mine that I've never really gotten a chance to explore. So instead of participating as a dancer in the Spring Showcase, my directors actually gave me the opportunity to choreograph a piece for the Spring Showcase on other dancers, which I've never had the opportunity to do before. As you might know, I have choreographed my own contemporary pieces for YAGP, so like just contemporary solos two years in a row now and competed with those. And it's been so much fun. And so this year after I competed with that um, original piece of mine that I did this year, my director basically based off of um, how I did with that was approached me and asked if I wanted to create a piece on other dancers for the Spring Showcase, seeing as I couldn't be in it. And so I took on that challenge and worked really hard hard all throughout the spring. I think I'd been working on creating this piece since like mid-March and so it was just really fun to work with my peer dancers. Yesterday was the day that they got to perform that and so that was just a really special experience. Wasn't there for the live performance obviously since I had my other show in the other building, well same building, other theater, um, but I got a chance to really just see them in dress rehearsals leading up to that. Dress rehearsals are Wednesday. Yesterday I went and watched them rehearse a little bit more. Um, then the show was last night and then right from there I had my Little Mermaid show. So then I went to that, had that show, and then afterwards this is where the story gets, I mean, really fun and you kind of got to see um, a little bit of this, but I just want to talk about it a little bit more. Um, but basically my show ended at like 10 o'clock, a little bit before 10 o'clock. It was probably like 9.45 when it actually ended. Basically, I was like, I'm just gonna zoom home. Usually I'll go out into the lobby and see if I know anyone who came to the show, but I knew for a fact that I didn't know anyone who came to this Thursday night show. So I decided, you know what? There's a dog barking in the background, so hopefully you can still hear me. 
Okay, I think it stopped. I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go home. I'm not even gonna go out to the lobby. So I got to my car and was literally about to leave. And then my phone rings and it's Gracie, one of my Mer sisters from The Little Mermaid. And I, so I answer it. I'm like, oh, did I forget something? What? And she goes, are you still here? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, your, um, dance, your dance friends are here. And I was like, what? I was like, their show like probably ended like an hour ago. So lo and behold, I run inside and I was super excited and there was, three of my um, good friends from dance were there and they had all their dance stuff. They had just finished out cleaning their dressing room in the other theater and so they came over to say hi to me and that was so special. Like something I was not expecting and something I definitely would not have expected them to do. Like their show literally ended probably an hour before mine did. So it, that was just, I mean, I was just absolutely blown away. I was absolutely speechless and so to just get to talk to them and hear how they felt my piece went for them and everything um was just really cool and I'm really 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 happy with how how the piece turned out and everything and so to get to hear them say like oh we love dancing it and we want to do more with it so it was just really fun and I really enjoyed getting the chance to speak to them so I'm just so thankful to them and obviously you saw me afterwards like almost moved to tears because of how happy I was yesterday I mean between all of the dance stuff that I got to do. I got to perform in a musical theater show. I got to have closure on junior year and all of that stuff. It was just a really, really good day yesterday and such a perfect end to um, that chapter of my life, what junior year was for me, the growth, the experiences that I've had since then. It's just really crazy. Um, and I'm really excited that you guys, those of you who might have been here since then, um, have kind of helped see that growth. Just in general, I think that I really grew feeling more comfortable like being at home by myself and doing my online school and being super independent, but also finding time to be social. And that was something that I was definitely really worried about going into this next school year was, I'm not gonna be at school at all. I'm gonna be fully online. And how am I gonna cope with that? That was something that definitely took a lot of getting used to at the beginning of the year. But I think that now I'm like so comfortable with this lifestyle and I'm really happy with how it went for me this year and I'm just in a really good mental state from that aspect um, which is something I was really hopeful that I could kind of work to maintain I've been super successful with that really just finding balance in everything it's just always super important to just reflect on everything that you've done and accomplished in the past year whether that be a small list or a big list every single accomplishment is so important and just take the time to like write some down write down why you're proud of yourself things like that that's kind of what this video um, documentation is kind of doing for me just allowing myself to sit here and be so proud of myself and share that with other people and tell other people that it's okay to you know take pride in yourself it's important to be humble but then it's also important to recognize like all of us are doing really cool things every single one of you out there is doing something really cool right now in your life there's something for you to be proud of right now in this moment and if you don't know what that is right now I encourage you to go find something find something that makes you proud that you can be proud of yourself for because that is super important you really need to balance you know being humble and things like that but also giving yourself the chance to you know be like wow that's really cool. I did some really cool things this year. I'm doing something really cool right now, or I'm looking forward to doing this really cool thing in the future. I'm just, I'm thankful for the few of you that are here on this channel who've been kind of supporting some of this stuff as well, because this has been super fun to grow. And I'm excited that, you know, the 300 and some of you that are here are here, um, because it's been really fun to make a lot of these little vlogs and stuff like that. I really want to bring a little bit more purpose into a lot of my videos in terms of like doing more like how to's and things like that with a lot of things that I'm passionate about. But I also just want to establish who I am on this platform and really just, you know, put myself out there as someone who can be trusted. You can count on me for being genuine and putting out content that I'm proud of and things like that. Um, but also, you know, just being someone who's always pleasing to watch and always entertaining. So I hope that that's kind of what you get from this. It's just really fun and it makes me really happy. And I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys and just kind of debrief my thoughts and what's been going on lately. So I hope you enjoyed. I think that was enough talking, so I will leave it here, but I do plan to continue to make videos over the summer. I want to grow more stuff with my social health initiative videos. Um, I've been planning a lot of stuff with that and obviously this Miss Rochester's teen stuff and some more dance content and things like that. So make sure you stay subscribed or subscribe if you aren't subscribed. And I really look forward to hanging out with you guys, getting to know you guys more. I hope you look forward to getting to know me more, but I guess I'll just leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.